Just for kicks? It's one of those phrases that's so enmeshed in the casual vernacular that we often use it without really dissecting its innards. The phrase, just for kicks, conjures up images of someone doing something solely for the amusement or thrill it brings. Not because they have to, but simply because they can. No intricate plans, no hidden agendas, just the raw pursuit of something that flicks the tickle switch in their brain. It's a bit like that time I trekked through the thick woods just outside of Portland, Oregon. You know, the ones that skirt around the edges of the city like a rugged emerald embrace. No reason for the hike, other than to allow the mix of pine scent and muddy earth to recalibrate my senses. And that's exactly what Just For Kicks gets at. It doesn't need to be constructive, purposeful, or fruitful. If it gets your blood doing the tango or tosses a grin on your face wider than the Willamette, then it fits the bill perfectly. In a world where we're often suffocated by goals, achievements, and relentless productivity, doing something just for kicks lets us kick back against the system. It's the impulsive road trip with no destination, the random dance in the rain, or learning to play the ukulele on a whim. Trust me, the last one is a hoot. So, next time you do something and someone asks why, shrug and say, just for kicks. It's the jazz music of reasoning. Sometimes you just gotta let your hair down and play it by ear. For kicks, it's why we ride roller coasters, tell tall tales, or in my case, occasionally scribble down odd musings about everyday expressions. Because somewhere between purpose and play, we all need a dose of the latter to keep the machine well-oiled.